Today's color code is 1471. Let's get cracking. Welcome back to The Paint People. My name is James and this is Color Code, cracking the code on color selection. This is our series dedicated to color. The color code is an indication tool that paint companies use and every paint color has at least one, if not more. Today's color code of 1471 is a Benjamin Moore color called Shoreline. Now just to clarify, Benjamin Moore makes two colors called Shoreline. The one we're talking about today is the one that is one word rather than two. Shoreline to me is a classic neutral color. It's a contender for what some may call a true neutral gray, but I find that is a pretty subjective concept. My opinion of a true neutral gray might look a bit green to you or even beige, but I think most of us can agree that this color does a pretty good job at walking that fine line between warm and cool. Its LRV is 68.82, and that makes it a fairly light color, but it's beginning to flirt with that mid-tone section of colors. It's definitely not an off-white. It's simply a light gray that contains just a touch of yellow and even less taupe. The undertones here are incredibly subtle, which makes it a popular choice for people that are just looking for gray. The thing is, however, because of that lack of beige present, it can have a tendency to have a slight stormy purple color cast and even some slight green tinges that can show up. That's sort of the risk you take when you're going with something so right down the middle. It will be greatly influenced by your lighting, pushing it over the edge one way or the other. When you're picking something that's clearly blue or clearly beige, they're much more likely to remain consistent with those undertones. Shoreline is pretty darn close to just gray. Where should you use it? Without a doubt, this one's immediately getting my main color designation. It's a great choice to use throughout a home, and it's around 70 LRV, which means it's substantial enough in its hue to read as a color on the walls, but it still feels kind of floaty where you won't bog down any areas from it feeling too dark. It will have what a lot of people describe as a true gray look. And while you might think that it would only really seem to work with more modern grayscale interiors, it actually contrasts really nicely with natural wood floors and any pops of color you throw at it. It's because of that subtle hint of yellow that coordinates nicely with a wide variety of complementary colors. And it acts as a fairly neutral canvas that also projects a sophisticated contemporary design. If you weren't going to use it throughout your entire home, then I think it would be a solid choice for any of those major living and dining room areas to give you that clean, streamlined aesthetic. Maybe you could opt for something a little more interesting for a front foyer for that initial wow factor. But for everyone else, there's really a lot you can do with this one. What's a good trim color for it? Well, I've become a fan of trim that is absent of that stark, sterile look that some bright whites can have. I think you need to keep it simple here. Shoreline is extremely neutral. In fact, that's become its identity over the years, so it only makes sense to go with an extremely neutral white to accompany it. My starting place would be white. This color was formerly known as PM2, and now you can find it as OC151. And sometimes, the simplest answer is going to be the best one. It's not the brightest white possible, but what it does is it provides you with a slightly grayed out white that is clean and minimalist. Its LRV is still very high, so don't worry about it feeling like a light gray, especially when contrasted against shoreline. What are some color pairings for it? If you wanted to introduce a little more earthiness and a warmer touch to further intensify the gray aspect of shoreline, then try using the mid-tone color Thunder. These two have a really interesting interaction because Thunder is darker yet warmer than Shoreline, so there'll be that slight bit of contrast present even though they're both technically in the neutral palette. Thunder is versatile enough that you can use it in areas that have a lot of space. In fact, I recently used it on a project in a two-story great room and it looked beautiful. Another idea is taking some of those extremely subtle undertones that sometimes emerge in Shoreline and amplifying them in a separate, bolder color, like Wisteria. This one's even darker than Thunder, and it's a hazy, slightly silvery purple gray that can add some serious elegance to a space. Although it has gray present within it, it's not in the neutral color palette whatsoever. Your walls will become the accent of the room, so it would maybe suit spaces that don't have too much clutter, or maybe on top of some board and batten or wainscoting. Another really great interaction between these two, and I think if you use it, it will set you apart a bit 
from your neighbors, if that's the kind of thing you're going for. Can you compare it to other colors? Why don't we start with another Benjamin Moore color called Gray Tint. Now, some may say this is even more of a gray than Shoreline, and it's largely due to it looking like it only has gray colorant in it. This may sound like the better option when looking for a gray, but I find it's that slight difference that impacts the color's usability in a wider range of situations. It has slightly less balance to it, in my opinion, and because of its composition, it can have a tendency to appear a bit green more often than not. On the other side, they have a color that is a little more earthy and contains a little more of that reddish taupe quality to it. And it's also a little bit darker and it's called Barren Plain. If you wanna know a little bit more about that color, we have a video of it right here. Which color would you like to see next on Color Code? Let us know in the comment section down below. And also, it would mean the world to us if you hit that like button and share this with your friends. Thanks for supporting us as we continue to create the color content you crave. See you on the next one.